we are. Okay, I hope you guys can see me. Um, at least hear me. See and hear would be best. But let's go. Now you see this long hallway? It is a long hallway, and it will be 30% longer when phase three is completed. Now I don't want to spend a lot of time walking down the hall. I want to get right to the, the heart of things. Now, we've got some neat technology we're putting into the new building, and uh, hopefully it'll be uh, extending out into the uh, phase two and phase one. For the Ames folks that are here and for people who have visited here, you know we have white noise generators up in the ceiling. Well, they'll also be in phase three, but we've got a couple other things that are uh, completely new, innovative, state of the art. I just want to, I don't want to spend all the time in the hallway, so here's where it all begins phase three. As you can see it's locked off by wood. Hopefully, we'll be moving that wood out, I'm sure, when uh, it's time to open up the building, which is scheduled for December. This wood will be gone. For now, let's go ahead and enter in. Now this is the heart of uh, where a lot of new technology is going to be put in. I'm going to talk real quick about a few things we've got going on. Number one, this is a um, electrostatic shield. Now these two systems will be attached to the carpet, and only actually absorbing static electricity, so you won't be able to shock somebody or damage computer board or whatever. So this line here, unbelievable as it may sound, it's running sewage, and it's part of this system. We're the only company in the Midwest right now to employ this. We have turbines under the floor. It's running our sewage through there. It's generating some electricity. Not enough to power the whole building, but for those five to ten seconds outages that happen during the storm months, this system will cover them powered by our own sewage, which is state of the art as far as I can tell. Sorry to keep moving. I want to tie everybody up all day here. This is the elevator shaft. Elevator... Hold on. Elevator number two. If you've been in Ames, you know we have an elevator that travels at a rate of approximately one foot per minute. Now we will have two of them. There's the elevator shaft. It's exciting. Okay, moving right along. We have stuff everywhere. It's a construction site. This is going to be, uh, let me just double check. Yep. Right here, we're going to actually be putting in a male female. Whirlpool. You should be able to kick back and take a long hot soak in a whirlpool, both men and women, same room, another first free AI. In here, this will be the soul of the company in the year 2000 and beyond. This is a cold room that will house all of our Apple servers. Okay, liquid nitrogen comes in here. Got air conditioning vents to keep the te temperature stable. And uh, we're, we've already bought a couple iMacs, and all our apples will be in here as we move into the next century of Apple based applications and equipment. This wooden table here basically constructed, but it's focal point of the construction site. And I can tell just by looking at it is that uh, we're actually going to be putting a helicopter landing pad on the roof of phase three here, which is uh, another first probably for the area. Uh, I'm excited by that. I don't know if it's going to land uh, full-size helicopters or if it will be just those kind of lawnmower engine-powered uh, variety of small one-person things. Now, this room and this room, and this is a pretty big area, is going to be the site of not what a lot of employees wanted, which was daycare. However, uh, what a lot of employees need, which is spousal care. You'll be able to bring your wife or your husband, your significant other here, and they'll be able to relax read a variety of magazines, watch television, and also be assisted by uh, two or three on-site counselors. That'll help them make it through those long nights when you're hard at work. Um, that'll actually be here. And this is one of those much needed things that, uh, again, EAI is, is taking the lead on uh, in, in terms of employee benefits. Now, I would take you upstairs, but can't go up there. I do not have clearance to do that. We've actually landed a top secret government um, contract recently. We're going to be doing a study, and I can tell you what it's about, but it's about it. We're going to be doing a study on nonstick cookware. We're hiring a number of part time individuals that'll be up there working maybe 50 to 60 hours a week. That's 